We're Charlie and Tasha, and we live, work, and travel in our self converted sprinter van. This week, we cross over to Denmark, visit the oldest Danish town, wake up to orange skies at sunrise, and much to Winnie's delight, park our home on the beach. We film our travels so you can come along too. Subscribe, ding the bell, and enjoy. Good morning, welcome back to We Bought Van. Join us this morning in Northern Germany. We are about half an hour away from the Danish border. Today the plan is to head over into Denmark and we're gonna to go to the town of? Ribe. Ribe. Oldest town in Denmark. Uh, free motorhome air there as well, so we're going to fill up with water and empty our waste. Very wet, very miserable here in northern Germany, as you can imagine. Our park up last night though was really nice. It was just off the main road by about five minutes in a little forest area. Really good for walking, Winnie. I'll leave that in the description below. Just stop for a coffee and then on to Denmark. Get ready for Denmark. Oh, oh for 12 times. Okay. come to a town called Ribe today. Um, they've got a motorhome air here, which is one of the reasons for coming here, just so we can fill up our water. But second of all, it's actually quite an interesting place. Ribe is well known as the oldest town in Denmark and one of the oldest in the Nordic countries. It is a quaint and charming town with its cobblestone streets and half timbered houses, with their beautifully painted doors on display, along with plaques, which each tell their part of the proud history of Ribe, stretching back over a thousand years. So we got back into the van and uh, our pump was running, a tap was on. I've shut the door to go to leave, best part of an hour ago. <laughs> yeah. Your hot water bottle fallen. has fallen, opened the tap. Right. All our water that we filled up with, 100 litres, has just gone piss straight out. It's, it's just here to fill up again. Yeah. Well, could be a lot worse, but... I'm more worried about the pump. Annoying. The pump's just been running with no water going for it for like the best part of half an hour. How far are we driving, Tash? About 40 miles. What, from 40 miles? I think so, I just looked, yeah. Oh, right, that's further than I thought it was. Yeah, it's further than I thought it was. It beach. gets us to the beach and we'll probably stay put. Yeah, so we desperately get to the beach. We're beach people, we love the beach. Yeah, we do love the beach. So, should we drive now and get to the beach? And, like, there looks like there's going to be plenty for us to do and for this one. And you and Billy love the beach, don't you? Do. Billy on the beach? <gasps> oh. So, up along this stretch of the coastline where we're parking tonight, there are a lot of Nazi war bunkers, which is well, one of the reasons why we're here, I guess, we want to see them. Yeah, the whole coast is beach. I think it's literally one beach from yeah, north to south. Strand. Yeah, just yeah. A long strand. hundreds and hundreds of miles. So we're meandering our way all the way up through there. Yeah, when he's going to be. Yeah, beach, when he loves the beach with our ball, Billy. If you don't know about our ball, but yeah, it's uh, gonna be good fun. She's literally shaking, she's so excited. I think he's Winnie, going. We're at the beach. I'm gonna have to grab Billy and get going. Why are you shaking so much? <laughs> we're at the beach, we're at the beach, we're at the beach. <laughs> so rule of thumb seems to be around here that in the official car parks, they don't want motorhomes parking overnight, but on the strand, um, no camp camping in behavior. Yeah, camping behavior, yeah. That's how they word it. Yeah. So we've looked into it and they mean like no chairs out, awnings out or anything like that, which we don't have an awning and we never ever get our chairs out unless we're on a campsite, so be all good on that. It was good to be back by the coast, but bloody hell it's cold. <laughs> also quite busy, again, I think it's some sort of half term here in Denmark. So all the campsites were, as we drove in, were really, really busy, a lot of people around.
So this is where we're parking for the night. It's just pulling over on this, from the side of this little road, really. Dotted along here, little car parks. Very, very happy with this. Our first night in Denmark and we're parked on the beach. It's literally just over here. This is sheltering us from the wind quite nicely. If, if we like it here, we plan on spending a few days here around this area because we've done a lot of driving over the past couple of days. Two days of about five, six hours worth of driving. Time we stopped and messed around and stuff. So it's been a bit draining to say the least. So. I think we will nestle in here and enjoy the beach, let Winnie run. First morning in Denmark and the sun showed itself. Got up a little bit earlier this morning just to come and see sunrise with Winnie on the beach. Unbelievable. Morning. What a sunrise, eh? Hope every day is like this in Denmark. We'll be laughing. Yeah. This is beautiful. First stop this morning is the local bakery. Yes. Because we have no bread and the bakery here is reviewed very well according to Google. 4.7 out of 5. Head into Netto, a little supermarket. Yeah, we could do with a few bits. Just a few I little odds. I have a feeling sorts. we're going to find a park up that we really like or something and I'd rather we were all stocked up and then we can just stay put. Yeah. <laughs> to the bakery and there's a queue what 25 meters long easy yeah <laughs> it's reviewed really well it's like the best bakery in town so uh, we'll head back there later on it's open till five so. We said to each other yesterday, ah, oh, tomorrow's Monday, it'll be a lot quieter because it was quite busy on the beaches yesterday. It's bloody busier it's today. It's twice as busy today. Why is there so many people here? <laughs> I envisaged it being like Ireland last year, mm. where every beach you were like, is there? We're you, just on our own. You almost feel like you're the only person on the planet. Yeah. And it's like Weymouth Beach on a <laughs> hot summer's day. We decided to head further along the coast in search of a quieter beach to spend the afternoon. To our delight, the next beach along, we could drive the van onto. We drove the best part of two miles along this beach before finding a quiet spot for Winnie to enjoy herself. Well, this looks pretty good. So we've driven onto a beach. We must have driven a mile and a half, possibly even two miles. I know you're excited. <laughs> Down this beach. Absolutely incredible. As you can see, it is fairly busy as it is a public holiday, but that's almost played into our favour. There's so much going on on this beach. They love a kite here in Denmark. My God, there are kites everywhere. Got to go a bit careful when flying the drone.
when he's creating some absolute bomb holes on the beach. There'll be someone driving down for it later on once we've got <laughs> but the, the, straight into the bomb holes. We're gonna have to do some serious filling in before we leave. We've had a mega afternoon here. Uh, Winnie is in an element. There's more sand in the van than there is on the bloody beach. And there's a lot more beaches here in Denmark we can drive on. I didn't even have this one on my list as to ones to go on. It, was, it just happened to be on our ring, so yeah. There's a beach somewhere, it'll probably be on our next video, a bit further up north. There's Nazi war bunkers, and you can drive on that beach in between the bunkers. Oh my God. Anyway, we're gonna have a tidy up and get going and go to our spot for the night. Can't stay here, unfortunately, it's not a problem. Um, I think they've had a lot of problems with people getting stuck here over the years by the sound of it. <laughs> yeah. I don't blame them for banning people. So yeah, we're gonna head to our spot. Well, so far this morning, it has rained and rained and rained and rained. Um, but there are some Nazi war bunkers in this area that we want to go and see before we leave here. Not only that, it's the most westerly point of Denmark here. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just gonna head down onto the beach, walk this little chen, and uh, go and have a look at these war bunkers because they're pretty impressive. Unfortunately, one of them I don't think we can access. The dunes here are used by the Danish army for tank training. I think you can hear the shells, they're so loud. They shake the windows in the van when they go off. They're pretty close. But anyway, they've got barriers and lights not allowing you into certain places. So we're currently stood on a war bunker. The weather's just delightful. Most westerly point in Denmark. What an age. <laughs> <laughs> go any further than this line the military there's a little hut just up in here and they're watching all the time if you get near to that fence we saw some people do it yesterday and they set off a siren and they come out shouting at you <laughs> so we're not gonna get too close Nazi war bunkers just here and they're really well preserved ones and uh, yeah they're the other side of the line but at least we can see them from here I guess but this is the most westerly point yeah this is which the is most cool point of about some lunch and a cup of tea I reckon yeah I think so try telling this one Try telling Winnie that. Yeah. <laughs> You're having the best time. We're freezing. <laughs> oh my god. Missing our harness. <laughs> <laughs> I think once everything's dry, we need to have a good brush. Well, today has been miserable. Bit of a washout. Bit of a washout, which isn't a problem. We we actually had, both of us had quite a bit of work to be getting on with, so it was quite nice to just have a bit of quiet day in the van. The park didn't like a beach car park, which is okay, but it's tarmac, it's not that nice, is it? So we're gonna go to a forest, which is about 15, 20 minutes away. So we're gonna go and tuck in there tonight and uh, hopefully have a quiet night's sleep because there's a lot of cars in and out here and if there's gonna be boy races anywhere, yeah. they'll be doing some drifting in the car park. <laughs> yeah, perfect. this is home for the night uh, it's just a little car park in the woods really um, not too bad I thought it's gonna be a bit more sandy it looks like it's in the sand dunes but it's not it is mud but where we're parked there although it is on grass it's solid so uh, yeah that's us for the night so we're just settling in for the evening we thought we'd go through a few things that maybe you will find interesting as a viewer in Denmark so far we've now spent four days here fuel price is to sterling, £1.57. It's 13.49 Danish krones. I think that's cheaper than at home at the moment. Cheaper could... than we thought it was going to be here. Yeah. So £1.57, it's about €1.60. 
162, something like that. We've been warned that Scandinavia is expensive. I mean, it hasn't been too bad so far. I haven't actually found food shops that bad either. We've done a big food shop in the Netto here. It was about 80 pounds for two of us, which it's typical. Going by, yeah, the rates at the moment is typical. I got a bit carried away the bakery, came out and realised I spent £4.22 on a loaf of bread. So It's a good loaf of bread though. It's a great loaf of bread. Hell of a loaf of bread, but it's four quid. £4.22 worth, but anyway. It brings us on to, so free camping, wild camping, off grid camping. We normally take it a bit steady when we're in a new country. Mm. Sort of find our feet with it. We sort of look at other people, see what other people are doing, which is what we did on night one and night two. It's been absolutely fine. So free camping is a go, which for us is pretty good. Again, motorhome airs. We stopped at that one in Ribe. Mm. Ribe or Robe? Ribe. Ribe. I actually had free services as well. Mm. Denmark so far, 10 out of 10. Can't Ooh. complain. Loads of bins, very clean. Loads of bins, yeah. But yeah, very clean, very tidy. Water taps and car parks, even if you can't stay overnight. Yeah. Um, quite often there's like mobile toilets in places that have been set up for people to use. When you can go anywhere, um, we haven't seen any like dogs on lead sign everywhere. I mean, Winnie doesn't spend that much time on a lead. It's quite annoying when she's got to be on a lead because she's so good off of it. So we're going to leave this week there. Hope you enjoyed coming along with us in Denmark. Look for part two and we'll see you then. See you on the next time. Cheers. If this video cuts abruptly, you know what's happening. <laughs>